Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Whee. Why, hello, everybody out there on YouTube. It's your boy, Maxwell, coming to you with another video review. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Flame Toys Transformers IDW Decepticon version model kit of Megatron. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we're gonna take a quick look at the packaging, and we're gonna put Megatron here off to the side, so we can take a quick look, closer look at the packaging. Here is uh, some lovely looking artwork there of uh, Megatron, looking all Megatron-y. And yeah, nice uh, background and stuff. And here we got the, up here we got the flame toys, and got stuff I can't read with a little bit of I'm not even going to try to do that. Uh, Decepticon symbol right there. Model kit. Megatron IDW. Decepticon version. There is an Autobot version out there. I'm hoping to get it at some point. Uh, Transformers Authentic. Um, yeah. Um, as you'll hear in the box, I got all his uh, sprues. So here we got the Transformers. Megatron model kit. Here we got uh, Flame Toys. Megatron model. Transformers authentic. Uh, Transformers. Um, just extended look on from that cover artwork. And then on the back of the box, you just have some tech. You just have some him in some poses. Good articulation with over 50 movable joints. Any pose can be set easily. This divine reveal. Reveals modernized uh, and shape optimized Megatron of IDW Decepticon version. Detail, articulation, sprues, content. Uh, yeah. With different injection color of runner parts, simple assembly is suitable for model kit beginners, and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, that's uh, basically it for the uh, packaging, except for one last. Transformers Authentic. And we, I'm not gonna throw the box cause the screws are in it. So get Megatron in here. And here we got their Flame Toys IDW Megatron, their Decepticon version of him. And wow, is he cool. Um, these are non-transforming model kits. So that is something to be aware of. However, I knew that getting it going into purchasing this figure. So, and the kit. In total, um, because I am fairly inexperienced with model kit building, it took me about two and a half, three hours to build. Sorry, I was not gonna record that on, record that for you guys. So uh, let's get in close here so we can take a look, close, so we can take a close. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at some of his detailing, starting off with his head. Here is Megatron with that bucket head of his. Very nice, very nicely detailed. Um, his eyepiece, his uh, eye vi eyepiece is made of a translucent red. So if you had like a specific area for like lighting, black lights, it should just pop and be vibrant. But yeah, um, got a nice reflective material there for his uh, deceptive for on his chest here with his like. Haywire looks on it, and that and that is actually imprinted on the uh, plastic underneath it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Decepticon badge done as a sticker. And none of these are water stickers, they are just the peel and stick. So for those who are model kit builders, and if that's something that it turns you away from model kits, now you know. And so yeah, all around, as a non-transforming model kit, he looks really cool. So yeah, um, he does have a number of different stickering details, like his Decepticon badge, these areas here. Um, he's also got some here on his hip skirts and on his knees and right here on his shins. So yeah, all around, really cool, very fun. You get these uh, faux tread looks on his back. You got the gun barrel or whatever you want to call it there, uh, there, and yeah. All around, really cool figure. Uh, articulation for this guy. His head is on a ball joint at the top of the neck as well as on the bottom. So he can look up and he can look down using both hinges. 
He can go from side to side, and his head can do a full 360. So you got all that. Uh, shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can on a ball joint on the inside, so you can get all kinds of movement there. Uh, shoulders are on a hinge joint and can go out that far. You do have a bicep rotation. You do have slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow, so av standard average uh, articulation there. Um, and uh, wrists are on a ball joint as well as a swivel, so you get all kinds of movement there. Um, abs at right at the bottom of the chest, above the uh, abdominal area, and right above the crotch are on ball joints, so you get a get some level of uh, ab crunchage there, both forward and back, and side to side, so you get all kinds of that kind of stuff. Legs can go forward only about that far, back only about that far. Uh, these hip skirt panels here move on these hinges right back here up a little bit to help to accommodate for certain bits of movement, but that's mostly for outward movement and can only do splits about that far. Uh, thighs are on a rotational joint, so you can do that. Um, this hip skirt panel here can kind of go up and down a little bit. Um, knee, very nicely articulated knee, because he's got a hinge here, but then he's all, which would only allow for that much, but they incorporated into the design a full motion knee. So that is pretty cool with a lot of articulation there. And feet are on, uh, let's see, now real articulation there. Uh, feet are on a ball joint, so get all kinds of wiggle, wiggling and moving around from that, as well as his toe joint here is also on its own ball joint. And something cool that's also cool is if you want added articulation, you can take these tread sections. There's these this little there's this like little tab piece here. You just put your thumbnail on it. And oh, I already had it all the way extended. You can either slide them down or slide them up. It adds gives them just a little bit of height, but added capabilities for posability and movement. So we'll just put those slid back up where they should properly be at. And all around, very nicely articulated. Um, now, one thing that some of you might be wondering and or mentioning in the comment section already is, Hey, Maxwell, where's his fusion cannon? I haven't forgotten his cannon. This can come off and actually get be tabbed in on either arm, but this is Megatron. It goes on his right arm and goes on there, holds nice and securely. He can hold it up and hold it up for all kinds of dynamic poses and stuff. And doesn't have too much of, an hinder, of a hindrance on his movement, except for a little bit with his shoulder. But oh well, it is what it is. And he does also include a, an extra set of hands. Because right now I have on him his uh, fisted hands. But he also does come with a set of splayed hands so as if he's as if he's giving commands to go and attack someone and how you replace these is you just take his hand pull it off there's a little port right here and it's a poke all attached by post and so just take his replacement hand and plug it in and if you wanted to you can have him commanding the decepticon army to go forward into battle which is pretty cool if you ask me and you you get both a left and a right hand for that so yeah there you got that and now we'll get into doing some comparisons and in this video we are only going to compare him with megatrons because that is what i have decreed so to start off with here he is next to the battle changers creo battle changers megatron who is based off of the Transformers Prime Megatron. Get a sense of scaling that line. Here he is next to the Cyberverse Bumblebee Adventures Deluxe Megatron. 
so you can get a sense of scaling that way. Ah, here he is next to Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise. Uh, Voyager Megatron. So you can see he's about Voyager-ish, Voyager class-ish size. You got that. Ah, uh, here he is next to Transformers Voyager Last Night Megatron. Uh, so cool looking together. You got that. Here he is next to Transformers Studio Series Movie 1 Megatron. There you got that. Here he is next to War for Cybertron Siege Voyager Class Megatron. Get a sense of scaling that way. Now, you can definitely see from these two the two different takes of a Cybertronian mode Megatron. Here we got one that is kind of based off of an Earth, his Earth-based mode from Generation 1. And then IDWs. Wow. If he was transformable, I would so have him replace me this Megatron on my shelf for my, for my Generations. But he will go on my shelf with either my other model kits or he'll get his own shelf with other things. And there you got that. And even though he's not officially a Megatron, but he is inspired by a Megatron and my personal favorite, one of my personal all-time favorites in my collection. Here he is next to Make Toys Cross Dimensions Reuter Despotron. Oh man, these guys look so good together. And you know what? Just for the whole sake of it, just for the whole sake, give me one quick moment. Boom! Face! Move from face. And here we got a big Megatron family shot. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I think I'm going to post this a picture of this on my Instagram to showcase it for this video review. So yeah, there you got that. So there you have my review for the Transform, well, the Flame Toys, Transformers, IDW, Megatron, Decepticon version model kit. He is a really cool, really fun figure. A lot of fun to put together, and as a whole, very impressive. Um, yeah, I, I look forward to when I get to build the Generation 1 Optimus Prime. Uh, will I be doing more reviews for these figures after Optimus Prime? Probably not, because they they don't transform. Uh, that's the biggest downfall, in my opinion, about them. But for what it's worth, these guys are really cool and a fun part to have in the collection. And as a whole, I cannot complain because I'm trying to get into model kit building. And it was very self-explanatory, very simple, and really fun. And so... If, this is, if model kit building is something you want to get into, I would say definitely pick him up. He is well worth it. So, where can you get him? I personally got him at my local Hobby Lobby. I will not be putting a link in the description down below. However, I will be putting a link to my social media, which will be, of course, you can find in the description down below. And I think that will just about do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video review. If you did, please be certain to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with whom everything also might like it. And don't forget, like I said, to check me out on my social medias. I predominantly do Instagram and uh, TikTok, and they will, of course, like I said, be linked in the description down below. And I think that will just about do it. And so until next time, everybody, stay safe. And this is Maxwell saying, Camera fall down. You will be certain to subscribe to Maxwell's reviews because he puts out some interesting content and he has given me permission to come and... What was that again? Oh, I guess I don't have permission. Just subscribe for more Maxwell's reviews.
Until next time, puny humans.